roses have a brain and, and they have creative abilities the rose plant can, it, it says, well, you know what? I got to protect myself from predators, so I'm going to make thorns. Although, doesn't stop aphids, doesn't stop rust or black spot, powdery mildew, or other insects that'll eat it. And the, and the thorns don't stop goats or cows or uh, horses. Or a number of deer, won't stop deer, won't stop many animals from devouring right through the thorns. Don't ask me how, elephants do it too. No problem. I don't get it, I'm a landscaper. I've worked with roses my whole life. I've been poked many times. Some of those things are more than needle sharp, let me tell you, okay? No, they're put there for one reason, by evil, because evil hates you. You're hated by these demons, these satanic spirits. Because you're made in the image and likeness of God. You're beautiful. They're ugly. And they hate you for that. You have a connection with God. You haven't sold your soul yet. They have. They hate you. So the thorns are there for one reason. To vex your soul. To make you hate God. Because you don't understand what happened. What went wrong at the beginning. You understand why it's so important, so imperative to understand what happened in the beginning? So you understand not to blame God. Oh no, the name of the Most High God is vindicated. Always has been and always will be. And you could be a part of continuing that legacy for the Creator God Almighty who is to be praised and glorified and thanked for all good things you've ever experienced or anybody else has. You will experience today or you ever will experience in your entire life or all eternity. God is to be thanked and praised for and never to be blamed for anything negative. Nothing negative. Not at all. That's vindicating his name. That's being a true friend and servant. And then letting people know that they're priceless. Pressure to the most high. That he loves them more than everything else. He loves the little birds. He notices when a little sparrow falls to the ground. He cares about them too. That's why I'm cognizant of earthworms. I've been laying some pavers where I am. And I tell you what, it's given me a whole new appreciation for earthworms. You know, without the worms, they're like the honeybees. Would die without the earthworms. Can you imagine that? So when I run across the earthworms when I'm digging, because you got to dig a couple inches down to lay pavers, right? You hit earthworms when you're in good, rich soil, and you take them gently out, you put them aside. They're tough little monkeys, I'll tell you what. you got to respect them. They're beautiful. They're God's creation. I can't say that for everything. I can't say that for the mosquitoes. I think a lot of times it's like a tit for tat. That evil has a power to create. I mean, don't evil men? They can procreate, right? So why is it far-fetched to say evil in some laboratory, evil demons can, hey, let's dream up something to really vex the soul of man. No see -em bugs, you know? Ugh. Hornets. Ah. Oh, God, you talk about an insect straight out of hell. Oh, my God. As a landscaper, I've run across a few. You, you stumble upon a hornet's nest accidentally because you're weed whacking somewhere and you, you don't notice the hornet nest till you're up close and personal. You're going to be stung many times, chased out of that area. Believe me, and you're not going near it again for a while. But I'll tell you what, friends, that is an insect from hell. So everything bad organically. You understand now where it came from. When evil got power in the beginning. Don't blame God. God's not an a-hole. God is a good God. Up one side, down the other, and to the nth degree. Greater than we can ever imagine. But we ought to spend plenty of time pondering his goodness. And thanking God for every good quality, characteristic, and attribute that we behold, that we embrace, that we allow to flourish within our being, in our essence, in our soul.
those values that are right with God. Right thinking, right speech. Thank God that God is going to win this fight, friends. Have no doubt about it. I know it doesn't look like, it doesn't look good, but it, remember, it's always darkest for the dawn. In, in, the, in history past, whenever the oppressors were out of control, they were too drunk on the blood of saints and they just couldn't control themselves. They ended up with a bloody revolution. The plebs revolted, like to use the French Revolution as an exemplar. But violence never pleased God. It was not the right approach. That's why all these things had no staying power. It gave a brief reprieve to the downtrodden. For a while, the oppressed had a reprieve. But my whole life, since they assassinated JFK, evil men did that. JFK, by the way, was in the process of getting rid of the Federal Reserve. Already started circulating a new dollar. Read your brief history of America and you'll find out that's true. Now we owe these people close to $32 trillion, and they're going to make the poor pay that by creating more poor. Now we got people with middle class saying 100000 a year, but you can't afford, you can't afford uh, to be a homeowner. Oh, no, no. We, gotta, we need fresh blood so they can keep going up the rungs of the ladder. We got the people at the top. Now we got to go up the ladder. We got laws and lack of laws. I mean, who hasn't heard that story where the guy that won the lottery, he was on food stamps, but he won the lottery for millions of dollars, and he decided, hey, you know what, I, do I still qualify for food stamps? And fine, yeah, because it was a lump sum. So, yeah, he, you know, the guy kept stayed on food stamps. I'm just saying, friends, question the establishment. Question authority. And one thing we in America we have to be grateful for that we have a lot of God-fearing, God-revering, let's say, law enforcement and military. That's the one we should be concerned answering to. Okay? We allow teenagers to go fight and die in wars. That's fine. But you can't have a beer... You can't have any tobacco. Oh, no. No, no, no. We'll tell you. We'll run your life. We'll tell you how to think, how to behave, what to do, what not to do. And that's the system you're telling me I should comply to and conform to and say, nothing wrong. Don't question it. Don't question don't question evil men that are running the show and just going to, you know, they don't know where they're going with this thing, but they're going They're, You know, they're in this ship of fools and they're taking us to destruction, careening thereof. And, you know, don't, 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 you know, don't, hey, just shut up, just shut up and just go along, go along. It's the path of least resistance. Just go along with what they say, comply, conform, capitulate. Yeah, right. Yes, my friends, check for yourself. I talked about the thorns on roses. If you Google, why do roses have thorns? You'll, that's what will come up right there at the top. You see, to protect them from predators. Well, it's just not true. And that would infer that the roses can think for themselves and create thorns. I mean, you know, this evolution thing, they're taking that a little far. And it's just not true. Then you can look up, do goats eat roses? Do cows eat, can cows eat roses? Uh, can deer eat roses? Yes, yes, yes. So it, the thorns are no protection at all for the roses. One reason, to vex your soul, to make you think God's an a-hole. You know, I just wanted to finish by saying one word about the female of our species. They should be exalted. They should know that they have real power. A woman can make a man's life the best. The best, walking on clouds his whole life. She can also bring him down really hard. She has a lot of power. And she should know it. She shouldn't abuse it. But um, ladies, you know, you're awesome creatures. And uh, you have lots of power. You shouldn't want the power that men have. That's a facade. Because the truth is what we all know. That you are really the most powerful finest creation that God ever made on earth. It's you. 
Well, friends, listen, I got to leave it there. Best everybody. Have a great day. Have a great eternity. And just work to be a nicer and nicer human being and embrace humility at the same time and win friends for God. You're doing his work. I mean, it's the only way 